So Ruth, what about to you? In Jesus' name. Hey, Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Amen. Thank you for everything you have done for us. Today. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Lord, that you have been protecting us. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Lord, that we are alive and we are healthy. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Lord, that we have food to eat and water to drink. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Lord, that we have not died. Close your eyes, good luck. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Lord, that we are alive. Hey, and Amen. We are able to praise you today. Hey, Amen. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Hey, Amen. Lord, I pray that any sin that we have done, that you have mercy and forgive us in Jesus' name. Hey, Amen. I pray that you will cleanse us with your blood in Jesus' name. Hey, Amen. I pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Hey, Amen. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in Jesus' name. Hey, Amen. I pray that our Bible study that we are going to have today that no evil shall be distracted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that we shall not get distracted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you will not let your word depart from our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Make sure you close your eyes and say amen. I pray that we shall need to be distracted in Amen. Someone is distracting my class. Finish this program. We shall glorify your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus, children. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. So I'm really happy to have you tonight, every one of you. And from the feedback I'm hearing from Daddy and Mommy, you're all doing well. So I'm really proud of you. So I want you to behave well as a you know as a glorious christian children okay so before we start our program tonight we'll be saying our confession so children make sure your mind is here and after after this class we'll be having um i'll be having the teenager class so oh i'm having um sheena dear how are you darling how are you god bless you good so i think sheena is shy and her sister so um we're going to say our confession now children and the way we say our confession is you touch your chest. Confession is saying something positive to yourself, okay? Yes. So you touch. Your... I'm going to. When I mute your video, please don't mute. Don't unmute it. Someone is distracting me, and I keep muting, but I don't know. I don't know why she keep unmuting the video. So children, make sure you touch your chest, everybody. Touch your chest. Everyone, make sure you are touching your chest, please. Good, good. Um. So I want to grab or uh, get try to get uh, Shina's name, um, Shina's sister's name, just so I can be calling them in class. Okay, Shina, Ola, and Ibukun. Good, Ibukun. Good, good. So children, touch your chest now. So you want to say something nice to yourself? So you say after me. You call your name when I call myself. I will say hi, Joy. So you call your name. Hi, Joy. Hi, I'm a glorious child. I am a glorious child. I am the head and not the tail. I am the head and not the tail. And I shall prosper in Jesus' name. And I shall prosper in Jesus' name. I shall not fall sick. I shall not fall sick. I am blessed. I am blessed. God is with me. God is with me. I shall not fear. I shall not fear. I shall bring I shall bring goodness. I shall bring goodness and glory to my family. I shall bring goodness and glory to my family. God bless daddy and mommy. God bless my daddy and mommy. God bless me. God bless me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. So let's start for Jesus. Start for Jesus. Start for Jesus. So children, it's really important to say something nice, something beautiful, you know, to yourself. Okay. So today, children, we'll be looking at the story of Noah. I know I've 
have taught us, you know, some of us. So I know you have taught you before. So today, for the benefit of our new children, so we'll be discussing the story of Noah. So I'm going to share my screen. So children, make sure you are not distracting the class when I share the screen. So I want you to watch this video, okay? This, we have a video telling us about Noah, the what happened, you know, when Noah was, uh, you know, um, you know, when, during Noah's time, you know, how God sent um, water, you know, to, you know, to flood the heart. So then um, people in the world, people on heart were not listening to God. God has created those children, you know, to take care of everything he has given to us. So God has created us to serve him, to do his will. But what happened during Noah's time, all the people there, all the people during that time, they were not listening to God. They were just doing what they want. They were sinning against God. They were not listening to God's word. They were not reading their Bible as God said they should be reading their Bible. They were not even praying to God. They were not going to church. They were just going to club. They were just doing everything that it is not the will of God, you know, for their lives. So God was not happy. God was not happy with them. So God told um, Noah, and among these people during Noah's time, it was only Noah that was faithful to God. Okay? It was only Noah that was faithful to God. Noah was the only righteous man on earth. So God, one day, God appeared to Noah. God now speak to Noah. God said to Noah that, Noah, I'm not happy with what is happening in the world. Everyone has gone astray. Everyone is doing what they like. Everyone is just lying. They are stealing. They are doing horrible things. So God said to Noah that I am going to destroy the world. I'm going to destroy the world, but I will save you. God has only saved Noah because Noah was a righteous man. Okay, so children, Noah was doing God's will. Noah was doing God's purpose. Okay, so don't worry. After the um, after the video, I'm going to share my screen. We we'll watch the video, so I will explain better. Okay, but I want you to pay attention because I may be calling you. I can call Shinaola to you know to tell me what he has learned. I can call Caleb. I can call Good Luck. I can call anybody. Okay. So children, uh, Israel, make sure your mind is here with me. So children, make sure you are you are watching this video and you are paying attention. Shemilore, make sure your mind is here as well. I'm going to share the screen now. So what happened before? Let me just recap what happened in the video so we have a better understanding. So God appeared to Noah. God said to Noah that, do you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to destroy the whole world, but I will save you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to build a harp. So that will be our assignment we are sending. Thank you so much for our lovelies that have submitted the assignment. We are so proud of you. God bless you. If you know you've not been submitting your assignment, that's not great. That's not nice. Make sure you always send in your assignment, okay? So um, God told Noah, Noah should build a, a lovely heart. Noah said to God, I've never built, I don't know what um, ark looks like. I don't even know how to build. God said, don't worry, just follow my instructions. So God he struck Noah, direct, God directed Noah during that time, and Noah, you know, built a, built a very lovely hack. Um, so after Noah completed the hack, Noah went to his people, spoke to everyone, you need to change, you need to repent. Do you know what? God has instructed me to build this hack, so I want God, and God said, whoever entered, no noise, please be very careful, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, be very careful tonight. I don't know why I, I need to tell mommy to separate you and Ruth. I will not take this anymore. Okay, good. So God said to um, Noah went to his people, trying to convince them that oh, you need to have, you, you need to believe in God, you need to repent, and everyone that you, they need to enter the hack that he has built, because God is sending flood to destroy the world. So they were just making jest of him. Oh, you stupid man! What are you doing? What's this nonsense that you are doing? So they, none of them listened to Noah. So, and when the time comes, God told Noah that Noah should arrange all the bears, all the halimans, all the beasts, you know, all the, you know, everything that crawl, that God has created, the halimans, that he should look for one kind of them so that they, so that they don't get destroyed and he should um, put them in the hack, which uh, Noah did. And after Noah had done that, and uh, Noah gathered his family and they entered the hack. And maybe they enter the hack. Do you know what happened? The door of the hack just closed because God instructed Noah in a way to create this hack. So the door just closed. So what happened after? Amatola, don't be distracted. Let your mind be here. And the rain started falling. 
and everyone was surprised. Oh my God, oh it's raining! And before you know it, the rain didn't stop for 40 days, and the whole world was destroyed except Noah and his family and those animals that were inside the ark. Okay, so children, don't let me finish the story. I'm going to share my screen now. Please, children, when I share the screen, don't distract other children. Let everyone might be here. Okay, good. So I'm just just going to share my screen. I make sure you are jotting something down because I might ask you questions. So, can you hear? Can you can you hear, children? Good, okay. When God created the world and everything in it, he made man in his own image to live here and take care of the world. However, humans started doing evil things and stopped following his commands. They did not pray to him and they only cared for their own comfort. God decided to destroy the earth and everybody in it. There was only one man who loved God, Noah. Noah loved and worshipped God. He believed in God even though nobody else did. He also taught his family to love and fear God. One day, God spoke to Noah. Noah, you are a good man. You are righteous and you live a good life with your family. But the world has become evil and all the people in the world deserve to die. Noah was shocked at what he heard but he remained calm. But God, these are your people. Have mercy on them. No, Noah. The world has to be destroyed. I will send a great flood that will destroy the whole of Earth. It will rain without end for 40 days. Every living being on Earth will be destroyed. So be it. Let your will be done. Fear not, Noah. I have come to warn you because you have been a good man. You and your family will survive the flood. You are merciful, my God. You will have to build an ark for you and your family. What is an ark, my lord? An ark is a big wooden boat. You will build this ark to protect your family from the flood. The ark should be big enough for your family. You will also be taking many animals along with you, so that they can survive too. But God, I have no knowledge about building arcs. How will I do this? Do not worry. I will give you all the instructions you need. Just follow them, and you will be able to build it without any problem. Okay, my lord. I will follow your instructions and do as you say. You must also talk to the people around you and try to convince them to mend their ways. Tell them to turn to me, pray to me, and fear me. Tell them to be kind and do good things. Tell them to stop being selfish and live a good life. I will do as you say, my lord. And as God instructed, Noah started to cut down trees. He made big planks out of the wood to build his ark. People started noticing what Noah was doing. They gathered around him as he shaped his planks and piled them up. They were curious. Oh, Noah, be careful. What are you doing? Hello, friend. I am building an ark. What is an ark? It is a big boat, my friend. It will protect me and my family from the flood. What flood? My dear friend, God, our Creator, spoke to me. He said that he is angry with the people, and he is going to destroy all living beings with a flood. My dear Noah, we don't understand. Where is this flood coming from? God will send heavy rains. It will rain non-stop for 40 days, and a flood will come and wipe out everything. You can stop this. God is angry with your ways. You only have to turn to him and mend your ways. Pray to him. Ask him for forgiveness, and you will be saved. You can come with me and my ark. You will be saved from the flood. Noah, have you gone mad? You do not make any sense. Why are you doing all this? Stop building this nonsense ark and look after your family. 
Sorry, my friend, this is my work. God has asked me to do this. I have to obey him. I will build this ark as he has told me. The villagers laughed loudly and returned to their homes. By now, Noah had gathered all the food grains, the seeds, and the animals. He stored the food grains in the ark. God then made the animals arrive in pairs. Every animal and bird on the earth waited in line patiently to enter the ark. There were lions, tigers, elephants, snakes, parrots, zebras, everyone. Two by two, they entered the ark. Then Noah called to the villagers and once again invited them to enter his ark. The people still refused to believe in him. Mm. They could not understand why he was collecting animals and placing them in the ark. They continued to sin against God and they refused to enter. You said it would rain for 40 days, Noah. Please mute your video. Don't destroy my class. I will remove the person that she Do you still think that you're making any sense? Do you really think that this God is going to save you? You have been making a fool of yourself and trying to make us all fools as well. I believe in my Lord. He will never abandon me. He has always guided me to do what is right. I am still inviting you to join me in the ark. You will be saved. We are not coming into your stupid ark. You can do as you please. Just leave us alone now. Shemilore, be careful. Once Noah had completed filling up his ark with the animals, God told Noah to assemble his family and bring them into the ark. Once they had entered the ark, the door was closed and the ark was sealed shut. As soon as the ark was sealed, the first drops of rain began to fall on earth. The villagers were amazed as there had not been any rains for a very long time. Soon it was raining heavily and big thunderclouds gathered all around the village. It continued to rain for days, and soon the water was flooding the village. The ark then began to float over the water. People in the village were running for shelter as their homes had been swept away by the flood. Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and the animals he had brought with him were safe and warm in the ark. It rained heavily for 40 days, and in the end there was nothing but water all around. All living beings were drowned, and even the highest mountains were covered by the flood. Noah looked out of the window of his ark and could see nothing but water all around. After 40 days and 40 nights of rain, it stopped raining. The water level slowly started coming down. The ark continued to sail with Noah's family and the animals. They kept sailing in search of dry land. After many days, Noah sent a dove out in search of dry land. The dove returned as it could not find any place to make a nest. The water still covered every patch of dry land. Noah waited for one week and then sent the dove out again. This time, the dove returned with an olive branch. This meant that the water levels had come down. Noah waited for one more week, and this time, when he sent the dove out, it did not return. This was a sign that the water had come down and there was dry land. Soon, the ark came to a stop on top of a dry mountain. Then God spoke to Noah. Noah! It is now safe for you and your family to leave the ark. You can step out to the land. You can now lead a new life with your family. Release all the animals. Let them once again roam the earth. Thank you, my lord. I am thankful for your love and faith in me. You have kept me safe through all this. My family is alive and well because of you. We owe our lives to you. You are a righteous man, Noah. Your faith in me has saved you. Your family has been saved because of your good deeds. I promise that I will never again send the floods. As a reminder of this promise, God created a beautiful rainbow. Noah and his family lived for a long time on Earth. 
They had many children, and soon Noah's children and grandchildren were spread all over the world. Good. So I'm just going to stop sharing now, children. Let's clap for Jesus. Make sure you're clapping. Clap for Jesus. Good. So children, did you have you learned something from the video? If you know you learned something from the video, we'll be honest with Jesus. If you know you learned something from the video, because I'm going to call some of us now to tell me the story. Okay, good. God bless you. God bless you. Good. So children, um, I'm good. I'll be asking you some questions, but before I go into my questions, uh, I just want to quickly um, give three people, you know, opportunity to tell me what they've learned, to tell me the story they just watched. Okay, you summarize it for me. So I'm just, who, who is the first person to go? Who wants to tell me the story? If you know you know the story and you want to tell me. Okay, so I'm going to call Caleb. Caleb, unmute yourself. I think I muted it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'll be calling Caleb, okay? I'll be calling Shemi Lore. Shemi Lore and Ola has been playing. I don't know why, but that's not nice. And I will call um, Emmanuel. So, okay. Caleb, it's your turn. Oh, I can't hear you. I think the network is really bad. Caleb, it's really breaking, okay? It's breaking. I don't know why. So, do you want to repeat yourself Let, and talk le clearer? Is it possible for you to disconnect from the class and connect again? Quickly disconnect yourself. Disconnect yourself from the class and connect, okay? I can't hear you, Caleb. Tell mommy to disconnect you and connect again so that we can hear you. So, I'm going to call while we are waiting for Caleb. Um, I, I will call... Oh, Motala, Motala, don't tell me what you plant from the video we just watched. I've, I've learned that whether you like it or not, you should obey God and follow Him. So is that... Okay, so do you want to what? Do you want to explain the story you just watched? I believe you watched the story from the beginning. So just explain, summarize the story. So I'll be calling Ola. So, so, no, so at that time, no one was the only righteous man. Okay. And other people didn't do what God said. One day, and then one day, God said to no one that he should build an ark because he's going to destroy the world. Because, because people haven't been listening to what there's been telling them to do. And, and, then, and then Noah has been complaining that he didn't know what an ark was and that he couldn't build one. And, and God taught him what to do. So after, after he built his ark, he has been convincing people that, that there will be a great flood and it's going to be long stop for 40 days. And then the people still wouldn't believe him. Then God, then God invited, I told him to invite animals into the ark and his family. And so he did. And then it rained for 40 days. And the people, and the people who were not righteous died and drowned from the flood the animals and his family. Then, then after that, he sent a dove to, to, to check if, if it was safe to get down the ark. And he waited a, a week, and then he waited another week. And, and, then the, and then he sent a dove again, and it didn't come back, so he went down the ark, and he thanked God for telling him what to do. And that's the end. Fantastic. Let's clap for Motola. Let's clap for Motola. That's very brilliant. Good. And in all the story, your Motola has learned that we need to obey God. That it's really important that we do not disobey God. That's fantastic. So I'm going to call Ola now. 
But I don't to explain, you know, what we've learned from the video. I, want, I need you to unmute your audio and speak. I will call you if you, if I see you playing, then I will call you, okay? So, hola. I can explain. Yes, please, darling. Okay. Hola, I can hear you, please. Speak louder. The story was about... Um, 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 Oh, the network is not fine tonight. I'm so sorry. Um, thank you so much, Allah. Let's clap for Allah. Let's clap for Allah. Allah actually know what um he was saying. So let me try to call um. Um, Caleb, so and then if Caleb can still speak, Caleb, then I will continue. Caleb, do you want to explain the what you've learned from the video? Okay, good. Let's clap for Caleb. That's a very great attempt. Let's clap for Caleb. Yeah. So, um, parent, please. Um, I don't know if you've been watching this video. If you are using, um, if 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 you are using two devices in the same um room, then we might be having network interference. So, if you want to connect to the class or you want the two ch the, your children to use different device, let them be in different rooms. So that will help us. You know, in our so that it will help us to to manage the um, the network interference. So thank you. So children, um, let's clap for ourselves. Clap for yourself, children. Make sure you're clapping. Make sure you're clapping. So um, we've all tried tonight. I'm really proud of every one of you. Um, in terms of, I can see you listening in class, paying attention. I'm so proud of um, on Sheena. They just joined us today, and you can see how you is so um, quiet and is listening to me and i believe his mind is here uh, sheena and her sister i keep forgetting your sister name so every one of you you are doing well so i'm so proud of you so tonight what we are trying to teach you is the story of noah the children that we need to you know like we need to be like noah in the in the world today because if you look at the life of Noah, I'm just trying to get on um, Ibuku, Ibuku, Ibuku. I know I keep forgetting. So, um, yeah, if, if we if we look at the life of Noah, we can see that um, Noah was a righteous man, and because Noah was a righteous man, that was why Jesus Christ, that was why God had decided to spare him and his family. Okay, God did intend to you know to destroy the whole world, but fortunately, God was able to find one person. That was righteous. So children want to explain the word righteous. What does righteous mean to you? If they say someone is righteous, what does it mean? I'm just going to call one person now. So just a quick answer. Okay, Ruth, do you want to tell me? Or mute yourself and tell me what righteous means to you. If they say someone is a righteous. I think it means when you are doing all the right things God tells you to do and and you and you always follow the instructions for instance. 
fantastic when you follow God's instruction when you do the right thing when you are without sin when you're obedient to your parents you know when you when you don't lie you don't do things you know that will make God angry okay that is not the things that are not the will of God so you are a righteous person okay children I believe we are righteous are you righteous children are you righteous if you know you are righteous when you to Jesus if you know you are righteous good so children I want us to be righteous just like Noah okay as we can see that Noah was righteous and God did and God decided to spare his life and his family okay and we can see that even the people of the world then God actually sent Noah to them to speak with them but they refused to listen to God so we need to listen to God we need to listen to the Word of God you know last week we studied the book of Matthew with our teenagers anyway we were opportunity you know, to join the uh, the teenage class so last week we learned about on um, the the signs of the hand time so we joined our bible series you know with our someone keep going in and out of the class so last week we were able you know to join you know our our teenagers and we learned about the signs of the hand time what will happen at the at, um, during the hand time okay definitely as god has destroyed the um, people of the world you know in time of, in, during noah's time God is still God will destroy the world again. Okay, the world is coming to an end again. Okay, children, like we've learned last week about the signs of the end time, so it's going to the end is coming. But this time around, those people that are going to be saved are people that are that genuinely believe in God. Okay, those people that are doing the will of God, those people that read their Bible, because you can't be righteous without reading your Bible, children. Okay, when you read your Bible. Okay, you become righteous because you will know the will of God for your life. You know, until I've been telling you that God wants us to read uh, His word according to the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, that we should meditate on it day and night. Okay, children, for you to be righteous, to for you to be like Noah, so that when God de decide, de you know, decide to destroy the world, you will not be part of them. You need to know the word of God, you need to know the purpose of God. Okay, children, do you have Bible? Do you have Bible, children? Do you, if you know you have Bible, wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. If you don't have one, don't worry. Make sure you tell Daddy and Mommy, okay, to get you one, okay? Tell Daddy and Mommy to get you one. Good. So you need your Bible. You need to be reading your Bible. And if you are so small that you cannot read the Bible, like our little ones, always tell Mommy, Mommy, please read the Bible for me, okay? Because uh, tonight I'm going to give you an assignment, and your assignment will be that you should read the book of Genesis, chapter 6 and 7. So that's your assignment Genesis 6 and 7. So some of us we can read our Bible, people like Ruth, people from eight years old and above, you can read your Bible. So, but our little ones they might not be able to read their Bible, so they need to tell daddy and mommy to please to um. Tell their parents to please read the Bible for them. And the book of that book of Genesis, Genesis chapter. Oh, someone is waving. Um, be very careful. Don't play. Don't play over there. Don't play on um, crown. You are distracting my class. You are distracting me. Okay, good. So, children, what I'm saying in essence is you need to okay be reading your Bible and your assignment for tonight class is going to be in the you have to read the book of genesis chapter 6 and 7 okay that 6 and 7 um is about the story of noah okay what what is about the story that we just watched tonight you know we just watched a video of noah you know how noah was obedient to god and how god spared the life of noah okay and even when god destroyed the world god preserved noah because noah actually um obey God's instruction because God told Noah to build her and you know some people today when God asks them to do something they don't do it you know we've told the children that it's really important where we are praying God wants us to talk to him we've even taught you how to pray okay we taught, taught you the importance of prayer but you know some of us have not been praying that's not nice that's not good so if you want to be a righteous man like Noah you need to be praying and you need to be reading your Bible so God wants us to be talking to him every time. God loves us so much. God don't want us to be just God don't want us to be fear, to be, you know, to be worried, to be weary. God does not want us to be, you know, to be to be afraid. But God wants us to have faith in him. Okay, to always talk to him, to always tell God about our worries, our concern, 
Oh God, I'm not feeling fine. God, heal me. God, I'm reading my Bible. I don't really understand. Holy Spirit, teach me. Oh God, I don't want to be lying. God, have mercy on me. Help me so that I will not lie. God, I want to be very helpful at home. I want to help mommy and daddy. I want to, you know, I, I want to be the best in my class. As I'm reading, I need your wisdom. I need your knowledge. I need your understanding. Okay? God wants us to be talking to him every time, children. God don't want us to be, you know, you know as a child of God, you must not say I'm depressed. No, 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 no. No child of God should be depressed. Okay? If you have the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God won't allow you, you know, to be depressed. To be, you know, to be sad. To be angry. No. Sometimes you might feel, probably somebody has done something that is wrong to you. Okay? You might feel bad, but immediately you just pray that the Spirit of God should help you. And then you just discover that over time you just forget it. Okay? Children, what, what I've taught you, we've learned this before, you know, the story of Noah, but for the benefit of our children who just join us, I can see Ibuku waving hands. Ibuku, what do you want to tell me, darling? So I'm just going to unmute. So what's your question? I can't hear you, darling. Sorry. Do you want to speak louder? Me. Okay, I'm just trying to mute everybody so I can hear you. So, um, Israel, just give me one second. I'll call you. Ibuku, what do you want to tell me, darling? Pardon? You don't know where your Bible is? Oh, I can't hear her. Oh, uh, Nibuku, repeat yourself again. You don't know where your Bible is. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. After the class, you tell mommy or daddy, you know, to look for your, to give you your Bible, okay? They will find it for you, darling. So don't worry. I know you just joined us tonight, so that's fine. But next week, when you're connecting, you need your Bible, you need your jota, and you, you need your pen, okay? Good. So, uh, Israel, what was your question, darling? Israel, do you have any question at all? Okay, Israel. Oh, that's your assignment. Good boy. Good boy. So, children, before we continue, sorry sorry about distraction. Well done, well done, well done. Well done, Israel. Well done. So, children, we are going to clap for um, Crown, Stephanie, and Treasure. They've submitted the assignment for this week. Let's clap for them. Make sure you clap for them. And make sure you clap for um, Israel as well. Make sure you are clapping. Good. So well done, darling. God bless you. So Israel is just talking, discussing his assignment. Yes. Your assignment says you should recite uh, efficiencies from verse 1 to 3. So it's really important. It's part of the things uh, we are teaching you tonight. That uh, what is there is that children obey your parents. Okay. That we should obey our parents in the Lord. Well, who wants to tell me there's a benefit that was attached to that um, to that um Instruction. What's the benefits? Who wants to tell me the two benefits? So I'm just going to omit Ruth. So what's the benefits? That it shall be well with you and you live That it shall be well with you and you live live long on heart. Okay, good. So children, God wants us to do all this. God wants us to be righteous. No distraction again in my class. No, 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 no distraction anymore. And crown stop waving your head. That's fine. So um. Israel, be very careful. Sit down properly. Let me see your face, Israel. Let me see your face. So, children, we need to be righteous. We need to do God's will. We need to do God's purpose, okay, for our lives. And we can only do that by reading our Bible, okay? You need to read the Word of God. You need to leave, read the, your Bible often, and then you need to pray as well, children. It's important you are praying. And when you read your Bible, like the Beatitude, the book of Matthew chapter 5, so I've taught you in the past, so this is about, you can tell your parents, you know, Mommy, I want to watch Auntie Joyce's um, video on Beatitude. So I'll summarize it as um, Beatitude is believer Beatitude, that we need to be behaving as a child of God. So we can learn all these things, children. And we put it to, into practice, okay? We put it into practice. So before we go, let me just quickly ask my question. I'm having another class now, our teenager class. So children, want to remind me what's the topic? What did we discuss today, if you know the topic? Uh, Shemi Lori. Noah's Ark. Noah's Good. The story of Noah. The story of... Let's start for Shemi everybody. So let's have a good, good, good. 
So what happened? They want to tell me one of the three things happened in the video. So I want to tell me one of them. I'm going to call Treasure now. Treasure, do you want to tell me what happened during the uh, in the video? There were a big floor. Let's clap for make sure you clap for trash everybody. Well done. Good, good, good. So I'm just going to call Shina Ola now. Shina, tell me one thing that happened in the video. What can you remember? Uh, when we watched the video, did you see an hack? So Shina, that's another assignment. Another assignment. Okay, make sure you draw an arc. Okay, you draw Noah's arc and send it to me. So you're having to assignment now. One of them is you read the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and 7. Everybody must read it. If you can't read your Bible history, I'll tell mommy to read um sorry, to read uh, Matthew chapter 6 and 7 for you, okay? And then you draw um, the um the, you 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 send me the picture of an arc, Noah arc, okay? Good. So who wants to tell me um how many days um, was the flood in the Bible? How many days? So I'm just going to call um, this um, my darling from London. What was his name? Oh God, I can't remember. God, I told parent, parent, please kindly, if you are watching this video, make sure our children name you use our children name on their WhatsApp as their WhatsApp prof um, as their Zoom profile, please, so I'll be able to remember their name. So if you know you are from London, wave your hands. If you are from London, I want to use that to call you. Okay, good luck. Tell me, good luck, darling. Tell me, how many days? I can't remember. I can't remember some of my children's name from London, so I, I can't remember. Good luck. How many days? How many days was the flood? How many days? How many days in what? Okay, good luck. It's not with us. Don't, um, let me call um Allah tell me how many days. How many days was the flood? The Noah um the uh, the flood that destroyed the world during Noah's time. How many days? Forty days. Forty days. Forty days. Good. So should I clap for yourself, clap for yourself, clap for yourself. God bless you. So we are going to be extending our class from seven to eight o'clock so that we don't we don't I don't rush because I'm rushing. I can see myself looking at the time and I'm rushing. So I'm not quite happy with that. So should I don't forget your assignment? You want to remind me your assignment? If you know you can remember your assignment, the person on that she has been distracting me, so I have to mute. Okay, who um uh, okay, Ruth do you want to tell me what's the assignment? And our first assignment is that we should read Genesis chapter 6 and 7 and the second assignment is to draw the picture of Noah's Ark. The picture of Noah's Ark. So that's it. Um, Treasure, do you want to tell me, uh, what did I say you should draw, Treasure, or uh, Stephanie? What did I say you should draw? The Ark that Noah built it. Fantastic, Noah Hack. So that's what I asked you to draw. That's good. Let's clap ourselves, children. You, you did, you, you've done well tonight. So we'll quickly pray. Okay, let's close our eyes. So we are going to thank God for everything God has been doing. Close your eyes now. We are going to be thanking God. Okay, thank God for His goodness over your lives and your family. Thank God that God has been faithful to you. Okay, God has given you lovely parents. You know, God has blessed you and that's why you are able to connect tonight because you have your, you know, your system, your laptop, everything. So God has been so good to you and your family. Close your eyes and thank God. Thank God for his goodness, for his mercy. Thank God for mommy and daddy. Thank God for your good health. God has protected you from a coronavirus. Make sure you are praying. I just want to quickly send a message to my teenagers that will be... Children, you are not praying. I'm not happy. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I thank you for everything you are doing in our lives. I thank you for all glorious Christian children. I thank you, Lord, because you've been so kind to us. You've been so good to us. I thank you, Lord, for having lovely children to us. Thank God for I thank God for having uh, Shina and the Bukun. Yes, from um, from Scotland. Father Lord, I thank you, Lord, for all our lovely children, those that connected last week. 
all our new children. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We serve you the exalted Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. So now we are going to pray. Stop distracting the class. Stop. I don't want to remove the person on that shayi. So please, um, I, I keep muting you, but you unmute yourself and you are distracting the class. So let's pray, children. Pray that God will have mercy on you. Close your eyes. Pray for mercy that God will have mercy on you and your family. Make sure you are praying. Close your eyes, children, and pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, forgive me all my sins. You know, some of us, we've not been righteous, and God wants us to be righteous, like Noah. So make sure you are praying. Close the eyes and pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I pray for forgiveness of sins. Father, Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my family. I pray for all these, my lovely children. Father, Lord, I pray you have mercy on them. You have mercy on their parents. You have mercy on their families. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, have mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. So, children, the last prayer point, we will be praying that God help me to do your will. Lord, I want to do your will all the days of my life. Because I know if I do your will, you will preserve me. You will protect me. And I will prosper in life. So, for, we are going to close our eyes now. We are going to pray. Lord, help me to do your will. Like Noah did your will. Lord, help me. Close your eyes and pray, children. Make sure you are praying. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I want to do your will. Oh, Lord, I don't want to be destroyed. I want to do your will, your purpose. I want to be righteous. I want to be a righteous woman of God. I want to be a righteous uh, daughter of yours. Father, Lord, I want all our children here, oh, Lord, to, to know you. Father, Lord, we pray. Oh, Lord, that you reveal yourself to us. You help us, oh, Lord. Help me, oh, Lord, to do your will. Help our lovelies to do your will, oh, Lord. Help us to do your will, to do your purpose on heart. Help us to always read the Bible, to always pray. Children, make sure you are praying. People like our crown is looking around. His mind is not, his mind is not here. Ah, Lord, help me. Help us. Well done. I'm so proud of you. You see, they just joined today and they are really behaving well. Well done, darling. Shinola, well done. Good, good. Make sure you are praying. I trust uh, Church and Stephanie. Father, Lord, I thank you. Well done, Caleb. Close your eyes, everybody. Omotola, well done. Has God that God will help you to do your will, to do his will. God will help you to do his purpose on heart. You, you will not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray for all glorious Christian children. I pray, God of heaven and earth, that they will do your will, they will do your purpose, they will fulfill their destiny on heart in the name of Jesus. In the name of in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus, children. So in our next class, like I said, I'm going to change the time. It's going to be from 7 to 8 o'clock. So that I don't find myself rushing because the teenagers, they are sending me a message now. So they want us to start our class. So um, children, please make sure you are well behaved. Okay. Make sure and don't forget to always read your Bible. Do your assignment. I am trying to keep you busy. So that's why I've sent you that assignment. Don't just draw, send me any half hack. I want a wonderful hack. So it means that you will draw as many beautiful hearts. Okay? okay. And then you send me one. So if you, if you can't remember how heart look, look like just tell daddy or mommy yeah, to show you you know they can check the internet and show you the picture of noah heart and then you draw that okay and also children um don't forget to pray it's really important you are praying this time and i've taught you about uh we've learned about the psalm psalm 91 so want to tell me what's what's psalm 91 what's what's the meaning of psalm 91 Okay, I'm just going to call Ruth now. I don't know why others are not raising up their hands, but Ruth, go ahead, darling. Um, psalm 91 is a psalm of protection. It's a psalm, psalm of protection. So it's really vital, this period, children, that you are, read, you are reading your Psalm 91, okay? In the morning, you read it. In the night, you read it, okay? As anytime you remember and join, you know what I'm saying right now, you carry your Bible, you read your Psalm 91. And always take care of yourself. Okay, wash your hands every time when you when probably I believe you will be indoor. But if probably show daddy and mommy take you out, you know, to play. When you come in, you wash your hands, make sure you are doing that. Make sure you are you are um make sure you are doing your exercise as well. It's really good, okay? When during your exercise time, tell daddy and mommy, try to remind them on Friday, five to five thirty on um, your exercise so i've sent daddy and mommy the video that you can follow very lovely short exercise okay motola what's your question darling 
Is it 5 a.m. or p.m.? No, it's p.m. 5 a.m. Everybody will be sleeping. Mommy will do no answer. So, so make sure you do your and don't don't make noise. Don't distract people. Don't disturb. The exercise is very dead easy, you know, to do just for you to be able to be active, okay? And then I believe some of you you've been you have your school work, so always read. You know, I've taught you that this period is not the time for you to play at all. So this is a time for you to prepare, okay? So that when you when the uh, lockdown is uh, lifted. And you are back to school, you can do better. You can perform better in class. So do your assignment. Listen to daddy and mommy. They know the best for you. Okay? So I make sure you are, your mind is in whatever they are saying. And if you have any question regarding your Bible, you can tell mommy that you want to speak with Auntie Joy. Okay? They will call me. Then I will speak with you. Don't forget your assignments. So uh, now we have to end the class now. And um, I look forward to see you on Wednesday when we'll be praying for our country. So we pray for ourselves and everybody. We'll be focusing on coronavirus, so we'll be praying. You know, tonight we couldn't pray, children. So that's why you need to, you know, connect Wednesday for our prayers. So do you have any question at all? Do you have any question before I end the class? Okay, no question. Thank you so much, darling. I'm really proud of every one of you. Be well tonight. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Kele, bye bye. Um, Sharon and Shalom, connect to the teenager class. God bless you.